Okay, this last segment is actually going to show you how to sketch parabolas using the quadratic formula. Okay, so this again, if uh, it's a little bit unfamiliar using the quadratic formula to work out your solutions for x, and then I suggest uh, refer to another video that I've created on that um, to kind of get you up to speed. So your quadratic formula looks like this, minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. All right, um, this is your quadratic, I guess, format where you have ax squared plus bx plus c. So if an equation is given to you like that, to find solutions for x, you just substitute your coefficients, so a, b, and c, into the formula as such. Now, what you're also wanting, wanting to use is your discriminant, okay? Remember, your discriminant is to find whether you have one, two, or no solutions and you can utilize this portion of the quadratic formula so b squared minus 4ac to quickly identify if there's anything so when we solve or find the solutions for x when we're sketching parabolas we're actually working out the x-intercepts okay so when we're solving and finding solutions for x and using the discriminant we can do a real quick heads up to see if we have zero x-intercepts, one x-intercept, or two of them, okay? So if the discriminant is less than zero, you're going to have no x-intercepts. And if the discriminant ends up being equal to zero, uh, you have one x-intercept. And if you're discriminant ends up being greater than zero, you then have two x-intercepts. All right, so let's put that into practice with um, this example here, y equals 3x squared minus 6x plus 5. So if we revert to this format, a is 3, b is minus 6, and c is 5. Okay, now sometimes instead of going straight to this, using the discriminant is a really good way to find what we're looking for. Okay, so let's, let's use the discriminant to identify our x-intercepts. So we're going to check we're going to check the number of x-intercepts using the discriminant. Um, so our discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. B is minus 6. Okay. So if we want b squared minus 6 squared is 36 minus 4 times a which is 3, then times c, which is 5. Okay, 3 times 5 is 15. 15 times minus 4 is minus 60. Okay, 36 minus 60 is negative 24. Now let's have a look at that, what we have here. Our discriminant is a negative 24. If it's less than 0, it has no x-intercepts. So it really, it, this graph does not cut the x-axis at all. So that really saves us the hassle to solve x because it doesn't have any x-intercepts. Um, if we find our solution equaling 0, then we can actually go through the quadratic formula to work out what x equals. Um, 
and then we will be able to identify our x-intercepts. If it's greater than zero, we can do exactly the same thing. But now that we noticed and found out that it's less than zero, we stop there for x-intercepts because it does not cro um, cross the x-axis at all. The next step then with this example is to find the y-intercept when x equals zero. Okay, that's always an easy one um, because it's always going to be the last value. Whatever c is going is going to be your y-intercept because x equals zero, three times zero is zero, x is zero minus six times zero is zero. It eliminates the first two parts. Our y-intercept is five. So let's put that into our equation or into our graph. Sorry. There's five, that is going to be our y-intercept. Now the next part, and the final part to our sketching, is to find the turning point. Okay. Now, the first part to use, um, obviously you need an x-coordinate and you need a y-coordinate for your turning point. To find the actual x-value of your turning point is going to be found by just minus b over 2a. Okay, so let's do that just referring to our quadratic formula here or equation. We know that a is min uh, positive 3, b is minus 6, and c is positive 5. So if b is minus 6, a minus minus 6 is positive 6, okay, and then a is 3, so 2 times 3 is going to be 6 as well. 6 divided by 6 is 1. So our x value, so therefore, x value of our turning point is 1, okay. The last step that we're wanting to do is then substitute the value of x into the equation to solve for the y coordinate of your turning point. So if x is 1 for your turning point, okay. So our turning point is going to be somewhere here. Okay, let's do that. So just jumping up here, one, so I might just write it here as well. Y equals now one, X is one, so one squared. And then we have three, three times one is three. Then we have six times one is 6 and then plus 5. Okay, 3 minus 6 is minus 3, minus 3 plus 5 is 2. So that means our turning point is going to be 1 and 2. Let's put that into our sketch. When x is 1, y equals 2. So if that's our turning point, we can already say that is our axis of symmetry. By looking at things, we can see that this is going to, it's going to cut across that point there. And we join the dots as so. There is no x-intercepts, as we found out from the top. We found out our y-intercept, we found our turning point, and voila. Thanks, guys. Here's my last example of sketching parabolas um, using the quadratic formula again. Uh, so what I'll quickly do is write the quadratic formula up the top here.
remember the discriminant is a good way to check all right let's uh, let's get on with it hey we're going to use this example of y equals 2x squared plus 4x minus 3 and we're going to sketch that in this Cartesian plane on the right hand side our value for value for a is 2 b is a 4 and c is a minus 3 okay um, let's let's have a check so check solutions using the discriminant I'll use the triangle as our discriminant to find our x-intercepts so b squared our discriminant is b squared minus 4ac b is a 4 4 squared is 16 minus 4 times a is 2 times c is minus 3 minus 4 times 2 is going to be minus 8 minus 8 times minus 3 is going to be 24 so 16 plus 24 our discriminant is then oops 40 so now because that our discriminant is greater than 0 therefore we have two solutions we have two x intercepts okay which is great so it's going to cut across the x axis twice maybe on this side this side or one of each uh, we'll soon find out we can actually go ahead um, and use the quadratic formula to solve our uh, solutions for x So we're wanting to use that quadratic formula to solve your x-intercepts. Let's do that right now. So x equals, now the good thing is we've already uh, worked out what this internal part is by using the discriminant. So instead of just rehashing, uh, it's going to be minus b. So b is 4. So we have minus 4 plus or minus the square root of 40 because we found out the discriminant is 40. This internal part, square root of 40 divided by 2 times a, a is 2, so 2 times 2 is going to be 4. So our solution is going to be this. We have minus 4 plus the square root of 40 over 4 and minus 4 minus the square root of 40 divided by 4. Now you can uh, just leave the x-intercepts as those numbers or you can actually put it in your calculator to work out what it is. Approximate decimals to um, two decimal places. Uh, what we'll have is approximately 0 0.58 um, and minus 2.58. Okay. So 0 0.58, if we put this into our graph, uh, we're going to have our first one over here, and then minus 2.58 is just about here. Okay. So there's our two x intercepts. All right. So now remember our turning point find turning point using the minus b over 2a to work out our um, coordinate for the x axis or the x coordinate sorry of the turning point should I say and then substituting that value back into the equation to work out what our y coordinate of the turning point is alright so let's do that uh, I'll just maybe work across here at the bottom and we can actually uh, complete this equation. So b is 4 so we will have 
minus 4 divided by 2 times a, so 2 times 2 is 4, our x value is going to be minus 1. Okay, let's substitute minus 1 into the equation here. So y equals, so if x is minus 1, minus 1 squared is positive 1. 1 times 2 is 2. If x is minus 1, minus 1 times 4 is minus 4. And then minus 3. So if we simplify this, minus 4 minus 3 is minus 7. 2 minus 7 is minus 5. Okay, so our x value of the turning point is minus 1. The y coordinate for our turning point is minus 5. Our turning point is then minus 1 minus 5. Let's have a look. There's minus 1 there. Minus 5 is down here. There is our turning point. And know that at your turning point, that is your axis of symmetry. Last point, so number one, check using the discriminant on your solutions. If you can't be bothered, you can go straight to here and find out what your x-intercepts by using the quadratic formula. Step three is to find your turning point using minus b over 2a to work out your x-coordinate. Substitute it back into the equation to work out your y-coordinate. Then you've got your two values. There's your turning point. The last step is to work out your y-intercept and that's when x equals 0 so that's the simple one when x equals 0 that cuts out that also cuts out and what's left c is your y-intercept so y-intercept is minus 3 which is there so we've got our x-intercepts We've got our y-intercept, we have our turning point. All that's left to do is to join the dots. Sorry if the parabola looks a little bit funny, but you kind of get what, I, what I'm trying to achieve here. Okay, there's our uh, sketching of the parabola using the quadratic formula. Thanks guys, see you later.